Hello there, welcome to this video. This is the second video in the unit circle. And um, what I'm gonna talk about today in this video is how do we get the coordinates for our unit circle? So in calculus, a lot of times we're gonna be asked what is sine of this angle? What is cosine of this angle? Well, um, we need to go ahead and we need to know coordinates or locations on the unit circle. So that's the purpose of this video. So let's go ahead, let's look at our unit circle. And here it is, um, I've kind of taken out all of the angles that we, we've had, and I really just want to focus on, on coordinate locations of this unit circle. And um, kind of what I'm going to go ahead and do is similar to what I've done in the past video is I'm going to start out with my quadrantals. So and I, I want to, to focus on, um, if you will, this distance here. So how far is it to this point? Like what's its coordinate location? Well, if you consider the center of the unit circle uh, as as an origin, zero, zero. Well, this distance, right, is your x value, and we know that the radius of a unit circle is one. So the height would be zero. So that coordinate location is one comma zero. And these quadrantals are very easy, right? I'm back at the origin, right? This is zero, zero, if you will, okay? And I go up, okay, so zero, one, right? And you go anywhere left or right on the x-axis. Now I can go ahead and I can go back from the origin, and go to the left one, well that's negative one, and I didn't go up at all, so that's zero. Okay, how about to the bottom? Well, again, left or right, I didn't move at all, so that's zero, and then I went down one, so that is a negative one distance. Okay, so those are the quadrantal uh, coordinate locations for zero, right, uh, zero, and two pi, and then up here, pi halves over here, pi, and then down here, three pi over two. Okay, next, let's go ahead and let's talk about our pi um, six angles or our 30 degree angles. So we know that this location, right, is 30 degrees, okay? And um, if this is a right triangle that is made, then I know that this angle is 60 degrees. Okay, which brings us to our, our next topic of kind of how these points are generated is special right triangles. So I'm going to introduce you into, um, well, I guess it's three special right triangles. Really, it's only two because two of them are the same. Um, but we have two special kind of right triangles. We have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, and those are exhibited here and here. And we also have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which is exhibited here. Okay, so these are uh, special right triangles because they, they have a pattern that holds with the Pythagorean theorem, and that's how we find their sides. So um, the pattern for a 30, 60, 90 triangle is that their side lengths are 1, root 3, and 2, right, corresponding to your biggest angles. So uh, the biggest angle has 2, smallest angle has 1, and then the 60 degree angle forms root three, okay? And I can go ahead, if you wanted to verify this with the Pythagorean theorem, you could, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, be my guest, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, or you can take my word for it, right? Those are special right triangles and those um, kind of relationships between the side lengths always hold. Uh, what I, I do want to talk about before we dig into the 45, 45, 90, is what is sine and cosine of these values? So we know that sine of 30, if this is my 30 degree angle here, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that is one half. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so root three over two, okay? So I hope you those kind of stick in your head, we'll come back to those. And then sine of 60, so I'll play the same game here. If this is my angle, I want sine of 60, okay, opposite over hypotenuse, root three over two, we know Schwarberg. Okay, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, we know Schwarberg. Okay, and uh, I hope you kind of see some similarities here between these, these two triangles, because those values kind of just flip-flop, right? Um, and again, like I said, we'll come back to this. Okay, uh, 45, 45, 90. The relationship for a 45, 45, 90 triangle, since it's an isosceles triangle, right, is 1, 1, and then Pythagorean theorem gives you root 2. So 1, 1, root 2. So if I want sine, that's opposite over hypotenuse, that gives me 1 over root 2. Well, we know that we can't have a radical in the denominator, um, so we rationalize, so we get root 2 over 2, and that is sine of 45 degrees, and I can play the same game, right? I get 1 over root 2, which if I rationalize gives us root 2 over 2. Okay, so those are sine and cosine of those 
angles. Okay, so what, Schwarberg? Why did you talk to me about special right triangles? Well, I'm so glad you asked because back here in our, in our triangle, I have one of those special right triangles. This is a 30 degree angle. And if it comes straight down, I get a right triangle making this angle 60, okay? So I know that this side is one. I know that this distance is two. And I know that this distance is root three, okay? Um, except there's one problem. We're in a unit circle. And I know that the radius of a unit circle is what? One. So, okay, how do I, what can I do to make two one? I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce. I'm gonna divide everything by, by two. So two over two, okay? I'll divide this by two and I'll divide this by two. So now if I go ahead and reduce two over two, which we know is one, okay? I get this triangle and, and the values still hold, right? Um, so I have now, if I want the coordinate location of this point, okay, well, I need an X and a Y. Okay, so what's this distance to get here? Well, I travel along this, this distance doo -doo -doo, to here. Okay, well, didn't I just travel root three over two, that side of that triangle? Okay, so that's root three over two. Okay, what about the Y value if I go up? Well, I have to go up this distance to get there, and that is one half. Okay, so hey, what you just did is you found the coordinate locations, right, for pi over six. That's what you just did using that formula, right? So, or not formula, for those calculations with the triangle. So those are the coordinate locations for pi over six. Now, what I want to talk about is all of the other pi over six angles, because if we go back to our unit circle, which we, we made in the last one, um, you'll notice that I have a pi over six angle here, a pi over six angle here, and a pi over six angle here. They all have a denominator of pi over six. Is there any connection? Oh yes, there is. Um, they are what is called reference angles. So here's a reference angle, and it's called theta prime, of an angle theta in standard position is the acute angle formed by the x-axis, and the terminal side of theta. That's very, very important. That's what a reference angle is, formed with the x-axis and the terminal side of theta. So here's kind of an example. Um, if I wanna go ahead and I, I go back to my, my unit circle here, and I wanna draw an angle, okay, and I go around and I wanna end here, okay, this is, five pi over six. Well, but what I also have is I also have this angle here, which is pi over six, and it's a reference angle. So what I get is I get another 30, 60, 90 triangle right here. Okay, and what's, I mean, what's big whoop? What's the purpose of it? Well, those distances hold. If I all of a sudden go this direction, Okay, my value is negative root three over two, right? I went to the left, so it's negative. And I went up this distance, which was one half, right? It's the same exact as, as this triangle over here to get that coordinate point. Oh, so what you're telling me is that all of the reference angles, uh, coordinate locations are the same? That's exactly what I'm telling you, right? So here is another reference angle. 30 degree reference angle or a pi six reference angle here, right? Here's 30 degrees. Okay, so this distance, if I, my X value, if I go this way, it is negative root three over two. Okay, and I have to go down that, that distance, that Y value distance, which is negative one half. And I, I hope what you're picking up on is the pattern, right? I hope you see another 30 degree reference triangle here. Okay, so this value, is positive root three over two comma negative one half okay and that's that coordinate location all right so um those are the 30 degree angles Whew. wow so there's more yeah we also have our 60 degree uh triangle which is here okay and if i go ahead and do this so now this is 60 degrees this happens to be 30 degrees so what I want you to, to see or envision is it's the same exact triangle, right? Same exact triangle, right? This is the 31, here's the 61. The side lengths are exactly the same, 
they just switch, right? So all of a sudden now, okay, this horizontal distance is one half. This distance is root three over two, and my hypotenuse is one. Okay, so that means my x value is one half. That means my y value is root three over two. Okay, and I have those coordinate locations. Okay, and this pattern holds. Um, so I can go ahead, I can go up here. So this is one half, negative one half, root three over two. Okay, this pi six or pi third angle down here is going to be negative one half, negative root three over two. Okay, and this one down here is positive one half, negative root three over two. Okay, and again, uh, I can go ahead and I can put those in because they're all reference angles, right? I have a 60 degree angle. I'm making um, that value, okay, in those in those quadrants. I have a triangle formed the x-axis. So all those values hold, okay? And that's kind of the cool thing. So when, when we look at our, our unit circle, okay, and I have, um, and I'm asked something about a, a five pi over three angle, well, I know it's going to match exactly the same as pi over three. All right. Okay. Um, we just have one left. Okay. And that is our 45 um, degree angle. So let me go ahead and erase. And I apologize. I, mean, I switched up my colors. I used blue for that pi thirds angle. I hope you're not too caught off guard. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a triangle here. And I know that this is a 45 degree angle, right? So this side is one, this side is one, this is root two. And if all of a sudden I divide everything by root two, okay, what I get is root two over two. Okay, so here root two over two. So this distance now is one, okay? And my x distance is root two over two. And my y distance is root two over two. Okay, not too complicated. And then also too, I can go ahead and replicate this again in every other quadrant. So here I have another okay, reference triangle. So negative root two over two, and this is positive root two over two. Okay, I can go to quadrant three to this angle here. So it is uh, negative root two over two, and this is root two over two. And in my uh, fourth quadrant, okay, x is positive, so root two over two, and my y value is negative, root two over two. Okay, so all of these values, they're the same in every single quadrant, okay? Except you have to think about your positives and negatives, right? So, so here in, in quadrant one, okay, I know that uh, the x values are positive and the y values right, are positive. In quadrant two, okay, your x values are negative and your y values are positive. In quadrant three, okay, x's are negative and y values are negative. And in quadrant four, okay, you have uh, positive x values and negative y values. Okay, all right. So um, there's one last thing that I want to go ahead and and talk about is the connection to the trigonometric values. So each of these values actually represent um, a a particular trigonometric value of that angle. So I want you to to kind of pick up on. So here is. Uh, these values. This is for a 30 degree angle. Okay, I get these values. This is my x value and my y value. Root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my special triangles here and I want you to look at the 30 degrees. Uh, what do you notice about these values? Hey, aren't these the same coordinates, right? Wasn't this my x value, my root 3 over 2, and wasn't this my y value? So if I go back to my triangle, right, you can see that this value, your x value, is cosine of 30 degrees. And the y value is sine of 30 degrees, right? They match, 
It's the same exact value, right? That's sine of 30. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and now see that that pattern holds for every other angle. Let's go ahead, notice how those values switch for sine, right? So your x value is 1 half, y value root 3 over 2, and indeed it is true up there, right? And if I go ahead and go back to my 45 degree angle, okay, again, this is your x value, this is your y value. I know they're the same, but it's root 2 over 2, right? So we come up with this idea that our x value is cosine theta and that y is sine theta. Okay, very, very important. Put a box next to that. All right, and that is it for introducing the coordinates of the unit circle. All right, um, I will catch you in the next video. We will go ahead and talk about how do I find uh, trig calculations of angles of the unit circle. Catch you next time. Peace out.